I love music because I, I've come to understand that music is a, a beautiful gift that God gave us to express uh, deep feelings, our deep emotions to him. He does that to us. He expresses, the Bible says in Zephaniah 317 that he sings over us, you know, because he loves us. When you're in love with someone, you have that feeling, you know, you you feel the butterflies, you, you want to sing, and that's how God feels about us, and that's how he sings over us, and with the songs that he sings over us, we also capture some of them, and then we sing them back to him. So it's all about a love relationship. Our walk with God is all about a love relationship. God created us not with the intention to just serve, serve, serve. God is not a, a user. He's not an abuser. God wanted a relationship with us. He, he's a lover, and he loves us so dearly, and he just wants us to respond to that love. And that is why we sing, hallelujah, and that is why I sing. Um, I'm not sure if I have a song, but we're going to do something. <laughs> now, one of the things, <laughs> one of the things I want to share also that for some months now, almost a year now, God has been bringing to my attention. I'd like to share with you. But when we, when we, when it comes to worship, and you know, I'm talking about whether you're worshiping privately or we are corporately worshiping. One very important factor is giving your total attention to Him. You're going to say, well, yeah, I think I give attention to God, but try keeping your mind on one thing for just five minutes and see what happens to you. It is almost impossible, especially now in our age, where we have been conditioned to be doing three things at a time. You're watching TV, you're on your phone, at the same time, you're, you know, we are so distracted. And I'm telling you, I've seen that as a plan of the enemy, even though, you know, the internet and all these things are helpful, we have to be wise. It took, it, it, you have to be a wise virgin so that when the sound, when, when the sound, the call is made, that the bridegroom is coming, you don't miss it. We have to be wise with our time. We have to be wise with our attention. The Bible says in Psalm 119 that, turn my eyes away from worthless things. And I was praying, I said, Lord, turn my eyes, turn my ears away from worthless things. Because today is a day, you know, where we are acknowledging music and the power of music. I want to encourage you, when you, it, you want to worship the Lord, ensure that you have no distractions around you. And that is how you will encounter him. Sometimes most people feel they don't encounter the Lord deeply because their attention is all over the place. You're worshiping and you're answering to a WhatsApp, you know, text message. You are, we, are, we do all these things. And we think, you know, because God is not releasing fire on us, you know, bringing instant judgment. We get away with it and we think nothing happened. But we are the ones missing out. You know, if anything, we are the ones who need him. We need him. He's, he's altogether lovely. He doesn't need our help. And when you think about it, I don't think God needs our worship, really. It's all for us to have more of him, you know, for us to be just blessed by his presence. So I just want to encourage us when you have to worship, when we are worshiping, don't look at anyone. Don't look at the person on your left, your right. That's why I like to close my eyes. I don't want to get distracted. I don't want someone to look at somebody trying to talk to me, look, look at me a certain way. It's just, even though we are gathered, God is receiving our praise individually. It's very personal. Nobody can worship for you. So when that time comes, don't miss your moment to worship the King of Kings. When God is writing accounts, those who came today and worshipped, you would have been, you would have missed your opportunity to worship. And it is an honor to worship the great God, the only true God, the one who is, he's the, he's the beginning, he's, he's the end, he is our life. Without him, we are nothing. Without him, we have no breath in us. So how disrespectful and dishonorable is it that at a time of worship, you are answering your phone. You are talking to somebody. You are the, it, it is so disrespectful, so dishonorable, and God is so faithful. And I'm not saying I don't do that too. I do it. I'm working on it. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm receiving grace every time. I catch myself and I say, hey, no, you, know, you need to tell your family members, this is my time to be alone with the Lord. I do not want any distraction. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to share that with you and also encourage you to listen to songs that draw you closer to Jesus. 
listen to songs that are not, it's not somebody who just got up and thought, you know, I have a talent I want to show off, and then just made a song. Because all the songs that we sing, we are channeling something. We are channeling something to the audience. So if, if I am not, if my, I, I'm not, my spirit is not joined with Christ, and I sing over you, my spirit is joined to immorality, my spirit is joined, I'm, I'm a bitter person, you are going to come under whatever influence I have. So I want to encourage you, let, be very selective in what you listen to. I think now it's becoming public, uh, more uh, public knowledge about the power of, of music because we know that words are powerful and songs are made of, you know, we have lyrics in songs. And so you are listening to something, be very selective. You can say no to certain songs and choose songs that bring you into the presence of God. Hallelujah. God is so faithful. His love endures forever. I'm just going to sing one song and then I'm going, to, I'm going to allow the other singers to come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I give you glory. I give you praise. Can you just begin to worship the Lord with me? Hallelujah. As we know, this is not a performance. We are all worshiping together. Father, we give you glory. Father, we exalt your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Maskotola bashiandele masiande. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the things that helps us to worship is acknowledging how far the Lord has brought you. You know, when you think about the Lord's goodness, you can't help but just worship Him. You can't help but lift Him up. No matter what we've been through, the Lord has been faithful to us. The Lord has been so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Great is thy faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest. to sing it, sing. to you in time of worship this is a time you need to remember what the Lord has brought you out of and pay attention to nothing else but him because he's so beautiful he's all together lovely when you consider where the Lord has I know where the Lord has brought me from so I don't let anybody take my praise interrupt my praise and I hope that you impact be impacted with the grace for that because there's nothing like Jesus 
If it wasn't for him, you would not be sitting here today. It is by his grace that you have the degrees that you have. It is by his grace that you're able to do the things that you have done. It is by his grace that you're able to accomplish what you have accomplished. Oh, Lord, all I have needed, thy hands, thy hands, I provided. with us hallelujah everywhere you are the Lord is present all we need to do is to tune in into his presence he's ever present he's ever present he's filled the whole earth even in your deepest darkest moments he's there you just have to acknowledge his presence and he'll be turned on for you Oh, we might, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. 
to the King of Glory. Oh. 